Today, I compare the design of two German V12 bi-turbo engines, the Mercedes M279 and the BMW N74 along seven aspects. For differences between the N74 and uh, the later N74TU, check out my previous video. The two engine blocks can hardly be more different. The M279 uses an open deck design with a two-piece crankcase. The lower half acts as a girdle in place of individual main bearing caps. Crucially, its Silitac block uses the low castle process, with which a sleeve 2.5 mm thick is inserted to provide a high silicon region around the cylinder. Low castle is the least durable process to prepare an aluminum block. In comparison, the N74 block has a closed deck, deep skirt design. It uses individual main bearing caps. This alloy block uses a homogeneous hyperutactic alloy. Even though alloy is less durable than both more traditional and more modern processes, it is more durable than low calcium. For more details on the two processes, check out one of my previous uh, videos. In terms of crankcase ventilation, the M279 uses a single centrifugal oil separator driven by the left camshaft. This is a simple, elegant solution. The N74, on the other hand, uses a more conventional passive system that will also works just fine. BMW states that uh, the crankshaft on the N74 is 100% balanced. In contrast, Mercedes describes the crankshaft on the M279 to have a quote-unquote high balancing rate that is just over 50% rotating. This is a strange choice and indeed strange description, as a 50% balancing rate is not high and is bad for both performance and durability. The M279 has 82.6 mm bore and 93 mm stroke and is undersquare. The N74 has 89 mm bore and 80 mm stroke and is oversquare. The difference in stroke ratio is part of the reason why the M279 has a lower red line. With an oversquare design with long connecting rod, the N74 should be the smoother of the two. Its durability benefits from this too. In terms of oil pumps, the M279 uses a two-stage external gear pump, while the N74 uses a pendulum slide cell variable displace displacement pump. The pump in the Mercedes is simpler and more robust, while that on the uh, N74 is more efficient. One of the most important differences that determine the characteristics of the two engines is the engine head design. The M279 uses single overhead cam cylinder heads. It has a fixed camshaft sprocket without variable valve timing. It uses two spark plugs per cylinder, which at one point was marketed as more efficient, even though real-world evidence is lacking and no other engine uses this design today. At least, it uses individual ignition coil packs instead of the cassettes on the old uh, M275. The N74 has a dual overhead cam design with four valves per cylinder. It also has dual vanos variable valve timing. Between the two, the N74's cylinder head breathes much better. The stock N74 only has 0.7 bar of maximum boost. The stock M279 has a maximum boost of 1.5 bars, which is very high. The M279 is port injected, while the N74 is direct injected. Port injection is considerably simpler, though GDI allows the N74 to run a higher compression ratio, 10 to 1 compared to 9 to 1 in the Mercedes, which improves power and efficiency. On the other hand, because the N74 is direct injected and turbocharged, it needs a vacuum pump. The M279 has a vacuum reservoir that uh, stores engine vacuum from when it is running in naturally aspirated mode and from deceleration. Overall, the N74 is considerably more advanced. It has better crankcase, crankshaft, 
and the cylinder head, and it is over square. Its Achilles heel is uh, the problematic piezo electric injectors. The M279 is a much simpler design that is probably more reliable, though its low casu block, less balanced crankshaft, and undersquare design mean a shorter service life.